Well, hello. The weather's changed. It's raining out, and I've been busy inside. I got this uh, Monarch 10 E nested in here pretty nice, and uh, I got uh, a shelf up here. I got better light, and I got it leveled, and I'll show you that. I hope you're all doing good. I uh, usually catch a cold uh, in the change of season, so I'm drinking a lot of orange juice, but I don't think I caught a cold yet, but I usually catch one. So the weather has turned a little cooler, and that makes uh, doing things in here quite a bit better. I can maintain the temperature a little better. My uh, air conditioning uh, kicked out some time back. I have another thing I'm going to put in here. I'm going to expand this uh, a little bit, it looks like, and just keep moving along. But I'll show you the level setup here. <laughs> yeah. Let me get this off. Which one? This one. Okay. So, now... It says in the manual for the 10 double E, it doesn't matter that much if it's level. Just that it should be level enough for your coolant system to work. That's because the lathe is uh, built so heavy duty. It has a solid cast base and everything. And it's got a three point mount. It's got a single at the tail end and two um, at the headstock. You see a wedge poking out there. And I use wedges and I get it about level, then I'll start sliding plates and uh, shims under there. Okay, so the lathe doesn't uh, need to be perfectly level, so I just use these uh, number 98 levels here. I got a little 4-inch one here, and uh, I read that a machine tool builders, rebuilders say it doesn't matter if it's uh, level longitudinally but it does matter on some things and, I, and, I'll, and i'll tell you about that like um if you use a face plate i got my face plate mounted up there nice spot for it but if you use a face plate uh and you're putting castings and stuff on it and you know shimming it and things like that sometimes a little level like this is, is very handy. This is just a little four inch number 98 level here, but you should have the lathe level if you're going to do some faceplate work with castings or just odd things because it's really good to sometimes use the level to get stuff uh, as best you can like in a faceplate. <laughs> So anyway, this is what I got going here. And it took a while. Oh, I want to show my shelf. So I put this shelf in. And I got thinking about it. And you know what I need in a shelf? I need a shelf that things don't roll off of. I almost kicked it off there. But I got a little groove there um, to catch things. And I got it, I got it back here too. So things don't get up against the wall or the board so bad. So that's one of the things I did. And gave it a little decorative mill in there. I'm going to do some more uh, shelf. I think I'm going to put one like this, kind of sneak one in down there. And uh, I'm going to uh, rearrange some stuff around here and uh, make it so uh, I can do a variety of things. And some things I haven't been doing lately. And, uh, yeah. So this is kind of an important piece for me here to get going. And uh, I, <laughs> I got to put, uh, I have another light downstairs. I'm not, uh, it's not a good spot. So I'll get another light like this there. Then I think I need another one crosswise there. Then move that one up from that trick board so it's not behind kind of <sighs> brighten things up a little bit it, you really do need um a lot of light working on uh a lot of things like this um tool and cutter grinder i've just got these uh lamps on it and so i i don't know i'll figure something out kind of look at lighting options on that
Okay, I'm going to kick this off for right now, and uh, I'll be back in a minute. I'm still plugging away on this thing. I, I added a light back there so it lit it up better. And I uh, got my shelving and set up here. This is a nice cozy place for the Monarch 10 E. I'm going to put a shelf down here that I think will be handy for the cutter grinder. I've got better light. I've got to uh, get my hold down kits here. I think I can put a couple of them on the wall there and one over here for the jig bore. And uh, I think this this place is going to get uh, get moving a little bit better. Looking pretty good so far. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I think I, uh, my camera's working. I got my lights uh, rearranged. Let's see how they work. Yeah! Okay. So I think I've got plenty of light going. Yep. Yep, I could still pour more light over here in this corner. But that's going to be great. Now, I think I'm going to uh, get a shelf here. Uh, got a tube of uh, drill right there. But I think I'll put a shelf uh, right here. And I could use it for uh, the cutter grinder. But uh, things are kind of uh, coming together quite a bit better. I can get this uh, a lot more functional. Looking real good. Hope you're all doing good today. Okay, I think I'll start uh, working on a board. And uh, I could probably stick some shelving in a couple other places. And I just might do it. Just uh, so I can stuff a few more things. <laughs> I don't have room for toolboxes, but uh, and I'm running out of wall space pretty quickly here. Okay, I'm going to go down and uh, start milling on a board. Mm -hmm. 